Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Today, my children, we are going to start with the review of all the topics since we started, okay? Now, the very first topics that we commenced was color brown and school objects. So, today, we are going to begin with the color brown. And we have some examples here on the whiteboard. Now remember, these examples appeared on your daily book on the very first pages. So if you want to follow this review, you can open your book and we can commence. The first object that has color brown, as you can see here, is the bear. Now the bear, remember, it's an animal of the jungle and it's a very big, big animal. Most of the bears have two colors. They are either color black or color brown. But the most common color for the bears are color brown. So that's why we put it right here. Under the bear, we have an object that is very helpful to close our cloth. Para cerrar nuestra ropa. Okay? We have two ways. We have the zipper or we have buttons. Okay? Now, remember, buttons have a circular form and they are very, very small because they are attached to the cloth, okay? Now, like I mentioned it before, the cloth, the buttons, we require them to, cl uh, to close our cloth para cerrar nuestra ropa. Now, continue with objects that are color brown. We have a ball, okay? Like once again, it's a circular shape. We have ball and under the ball we have an object that is very important because this object we use it to have a seat. Para poder sentarnos we require this object. It is called the chair. Okay. Now once again all of these objects we have seen them but it's very important, es muy importante that you remember them, que lo recordemos, aunque ya lo hayamos visto. Recuerden, los repasos son importantes para que, todo, para que todas estas cosas no se nos olviden. So, once again, please repeat after me. Bear. The bear, it's color brown. Buttons. Buttons are color brown. Ball. The ball is color brown. And finally, the chair. Now, what's the color of the chair? Color brown. Very good, excellent, thumbs up. Now, continue with the review of today. We're going to concentrate on school objects. Now, if you remember, the word school means escuela. And objects, of course, in Spanish, objetos. So, here we have the most common objects that we use in a school. And some of these objects are new. So it's very important that you pay attention and you concentrate. First of all, let's see the first two that we already saw. Vamos a ver los primeros con los que ya hemos estado trabajando. The first one, remember, is the pencil. Now, what is a pencil? Remember the pencil, it's an object that you use to trace your letters or your numbers. Recuerden que este material lo utilizamos para remarcar letras y números. That's the pencil. Next to the pencil, we had the pen. Now, there is a big difference between pencil and pen. Pen, you use it when you are older. La pluma la utilizarán cuando ustedes sean un poco más grandes. Why, teacher? Because with the pen, you can't erase what you write. No pueden borrar lo que se escribe cuando utilizan una pluma. With the pencil, you can. Con el lápiz sí podemos borrar lo que utilizamos. Por eso, ustedes cuando sean más, más grandes, when you are older, you are going to be able to use the pen. Van a poder utilizar una pluma. Now, let's continue with the school objects. Under the pen, we have the backpack. Now, this is where we introduce, aquí empezamos a introducir, a ver, nuevos objetos. One more time, we have the backpack. And as you can see, the backpack is the object in which we place all of our objects. 
metemos todos nuestros objetos escolares. Books, colors, crayons, pencils, ok, uh, books once again, or notebooks, notebooks cuadernos, ok, so that is the backpack. Next to, we have the pencil case. Now, the pencil case, it's a rectangular object in which we put the colors and the crayons, okay? In Spanish, we know it as estuchera, okay? And remember, we have different colors for the pencil case, or sometimes we have pencil cases with our favorite uh, cartoons, for example. We have pencil cases with the Marvel heroes, or pencil cases with princesses stamped on them, okay? Con estampado de princesas o a veces de superhéroes. Now, on we have the lunch bag. Now, lunch bags are very important in school because at, mi at the middle of our classes, a mitad de nuestras clases, we started to have hungry. Empezamos a tener hambre. So, we make a pause from study. Hacemos una pausa de nuestros estudios so we can eat. Now, we are going to eat from the lunch bag. In the lunch bag, it's where we have our sandwiches, the milk, la leche, or the fruits, okay? Now, once again, in Spanish, lunch bag means lonchera, okay? So, these are one of the most common Mm, materials, the school materials that we find in a school, okay? So, I'm going to repeat them. I'm going to say them one more time. Please, my children, repeat after me. Pencil. Pen. Backpack. Pencil case. Launch back. Very good, excellent pronunciation, thumbs up, pulgares arriba, okay? Now, remember my children, right now, right now we are going to commence, we are going to start with our review from all the topics that we have seen. A partir de ahorita vamos a iniciar con nuestro repaso de todo, 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 todo lo que hemos estado trabajando desde el primer día, okay? Así es que es muy importante chicos que repasen cada día un, cada uno de estos objetos para que no se les olvide, ok? Very good. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we continue with more of the review. Take care. Goodbye.